So you might be wondering how much those villas on Maldives cost, the ones that you're sitting on the water and you can literally dive from your room. I'm here to break down my whole trip so you guys don't have to. I'm here to spend all of that money and tell you guys how much it costs so you don't have to find out when you're actually at the resort. So guys, what's going on? It's your boy Isha Trapper and I just took a trip out with my team for about six days to Maldives and I'm going to break down how the system works and how the process works on getting the resort, getting a good deal and finding the best bang for your buck. So normally when you're trying to go from Maldives, you actually have to book a resort or book a hotel before you actually go out there. So when you're flying, there has to be a booking and there has to be a confirmation number or something like that. So every hotel is registered in Maldives. So if it's not a registered hotel or if you're just staying at a friend's house, you can't go to Maldives. You actually have to go to one of these hotels or resorts, especially if you do not have a visa or you're not an actual citizen of Maldives. So I kind of learned that the hard way. So first and foremost, I got an Airbnb from Maldives because that's what I always do. Whenever I go to Florida, I get an Airbnb. Whenever I go to LA, I get an Airbnb, whatever, right? I just get Airbnbs wherever I go. Wrong. <laughs> Never do this. So I actually got scammed for $1,700 because I thought it was a pretty good deal. I was like, wow, it's a big old house. I could go ahead and book it and, um, you know, I could stay there. So little did I know, first and foremost, the island, which was called like Tulusudu, it was literally like a poor island. And I had no idea what I was getting myself into. It was like a poor island and it was a house, but it wasn't the best house. And it was in a really bad island. I thought Maldives was just Maldives. So that's something that I had to learn the hard way. Next thing you know, I actually arrive at the airport and I call the hotel. I'm like, hey guys, I'm ready. I'm here, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, we don't have you as our booking. And then I was like, no, you guys were on Airbnb. <laughs> and they were like, what's Airbnb? So long story short, I got scammed, called Airbnb, got my refund, cool, whatever. So now I'm stranded at the airport trying to figure out how I'm going to actually get to a hotel. Where am I going to sleep? Am I going to sleep on the sand or am I going to sleep on a bed? We're going to find out together here. So after some time, we actually found that there's some like agencies like sitting at the airport waiting for customers like me to get scammed so they can go ahead and sell you a booking. So long story short, we found this guy. He gave us a good deal. We negotiated, negotiated after a lot of different tactics that we use just to cut down the price as much as we can. We got the price for how much it's going to cost for the entire time that we're there. So I'm going to break it down for you guys so you guys can understand how much things cost over there and trust me when i say this it's not cheap even though maldives is kind of like you know a third world type of city and like you know it's urban it's a very expensive place because tourism is very very high and they know that so they want to get the best bang for their buck especially when they're renting at resorts because let's be honest here the average joe schmo isn't renting out a water villa in the maldives they know their value and they know it very well so uh, first things first the first night that we were there we actually had had to stay in the city so we did like a bulk deal so we did five days in the resort which was the water villas and then one day in the city just to explore and check out the culture so the one day that we're actually in the city but we got at a hotel $450 for one night it's really really expensive but it was so beautiful it was on the beach literally on the beach like across the street was the beach and you know it was a really cool hotel they gave breakfast lunch and dinner even though it was complete garbage never would eat that in my entire life but overall the hotel was like very very thin but it was a tower it was pretty cool but we shoved about six of our boys in there so you know we all snuggled into a nice one big old room and it was 450 dollars for one room keep that in mind that's insane so we actually got portered to the actual hotel so we went from the airport to the portal which is the shuttle and then we went from the shuttle to the actual building which was about 15 to 20 minutes from the airport itself so we stayed there for the night. We got to explore. I got a haircut. We went to go smoke some hookah, shisha, whatever you kind of call it. I didn't smoke, but you get the idea. We went with the friends. We had fun. We vibed and stuff like that. I got a haircut. It was like $2. So like, you know, I was just talking to the guy. He saw my blue hair. He was like, yo, bro, where are you from? I'm like, yo, bro, I'm from LA. And then, yeah. So long story short, the people were really nice there. After that, the next day, we went jet skiing in the morning. And pretty much, you know, we went jet skiing. We had fun. That cost about $200 for two hours. And yeah, so that was fun. We went jet skiing. We had a bunch of stuff, you know, cue the jet ski videos here. So we went to back to the airport the next day. We went on a speedboat. Speedboat took us about 50 minutes to an island. And the island took us to a plane. And the plane took us to our resort. Okay. 
So after all of that hustle and bustle, it took about two hours to actually get to the resort. So you had to take a plane and a boat just to get to the resort. But once you're at the resort, it's very, very nice, guys. I wasn't expecting it to be this nice. It was literally heaven on earth. Like, I can't explain this enough. It was just beautiful. I never seen anything like that. The water was so clear. I was just literally like ready to just, you know, retire <laughs> at that point. So I didn't tell you how much it cost. So every night it cost about $600 per room. We had two rooms. So we had two water villas back to back. So it cost us about $1,200 a night to stay at that resort. So in total, it cost about $6,000 for five days. And that was a full board. Full board basically means you get breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but you do not get the amenities included, like the jet skis, the spas, like, you know, the stuff here and there, like all the attractions and stuff like that. You get access to the food, you get access to the entertainment, you get access to the facilities, but you don't get access to the equipment, the rental stuff, the snorkeling, scuba diving, yachts, and all that stuff that other people probably do when they get the all-inclusive package. So yeah, that's how much it costs. But everything over there, what I noticed was so overpriced because they know Americans are coming and people that have money are buying things there. So everything was expensive. So let me break down how it was expensive. So remember when I told you the jet skis were $200 for two hours out there in the mainland, Mali? Yeah, they're $150 for 30 minutes for one jet ski. So pretty much if I was to get the same thing that I got in Mali, I'll be spending anywhere roughly around $600 just for the same thing that I got in Mali. So that's insane for me. The next thing that I want to mention is that I got a massage. It was really relaxing, nice spa, five-star massage therapy people. They like knew how to do a massage, but they are kind of expensive too. It was $112 for a 60 minute intercontinental or oriental massage or something like that where they massage your head your back and all that stuff it was really cool but it was really pricey i was like whoa that's pricey so when it all came down to it i was like looking at the prices i'm like yo bro this is actually kind of adding up so in case you're wondering how much a massage was it's about 112 dollars if you want to get 60 minutes Next thing I forgot to mention is that the food in Mali, we had to actually spend money on that. So it came out to about $100 for a dinner. So things aren't that expensive as we spent a lot of money. You know, it was a six people dinner and it only came out to like a hundred bucks, which is pretty good. It's cheap there, but don't get it fooled, bro. Like, you know, things could add up really, really quickly, especially when you're traveling with a group. I forgot to mention the actual tickets to get there were very, very expensive. I actually flew from Pakistan to Maldives. I didn't fly directly from California or Florida where I normally would. That's because I was out here doing some projects anyways in Pakistan. So technically I went from Pakistan to Maldives, which was not as expensive if you're going from like Los Angeles to Maldives. So if you're going from Los Angeles to Maldives, you're probably going to be spending about twelve to thirteen hundred dollars minimum if you want to fly from there return flight. But we're actually flying from Pakistan, which is kind of closer. So Pakistan to Maldives was about, I would say, seven hundred dollars. I'll actually give you the total number of how much it cost. It was forty seven hundred dollars per person a round trip from Pakistan to Mali. So let me actually do the math for you guys. So 47 times six. So $783 is a return flight from Pakistan to Maldives. I would say it's about like double that if you're coming from like LA or something like that. So yeah, it was so cool. It's expensive. And let this be known is that I paid for my whole team. Everything was paid for me because it was technically a business trip. So I had to go out of pocket for everything. So while we're at the resort, we're having the time of our lives. We're having fun, dancing, playing, you know, games, swimming, doing all that fun stuff. One thing that I want to let you guys know is that water is salty. So when you're at the water villa and you're trying to go swimming into that freaking sea, that water is salty, bro. You're going to get salt up in your nose and your eyeballs and your mouth. You can be swallowing water like it's nothing. Other than that, guys, I do recommend going in the water, though. It is beautiful. It would be a shame if you weren't in that water, bro. You need to go experience it, and it's insane. The weather was perfect. Literally the best tropical weather you could ever ask for. It was windy. When you go to sleep, you hear the waves hitting like the pillars of the water villa. So it was just so peaceful, so perfect. And I definitely think it was worth the money, especially for the resort. The next thing that you need to know is we paid for the seaplane. We didn't want to do the whole 50 minute boat ride. And then from the boat ride, we go to the domestic plane, which is basically like you have to go to security and TSA and all that stuff again. And then you go and fly to the airport 
and then you rinse and repeat the whole process and go to your actual main country. So we didn't want to do that. Me and my team, what we decided to do actually is just book a seaplane, which is like a private plane that goes directly from the resort to the main airport. So you don't have to do the whole boat and the whole domestic plane. You just go directly from the resort to the main airport, which is literally the best idea that we ever had. It was $150 per person. So it came out to about $900 for the total group, but I think it was pretty worth it and the experience was amazing. So yeah, that's how much it cost for that. Next thing I do want to mention is that when I was at the airport, I bought some cologne, I bought some Dior. So, you know, I mean, I had to do it. So I got some Dior Sauvage, you know what I'm saying? So it was nice. I got it. So we secured the bag on that one. So if we break down the total number of how much it costs for about six days at the resort and at Maldives in total for six people for six days, it comes out to about $13,500. And that's how much you're gonna have to pay, especially if you wanna have a good time and you wanna have a really memorable time while you're out in Maldives. I know, I get it. It's a lot of money, it's insane. People are probably spending half that when it comes down to you know trying to find budgets and stuff like that. But I really you know didn't have a lot of options while I was at the airport, I was stranded. My Airbnb guy scammed me. I was literally like, you know, screw it. Instead of, you know, half, budgeting let's just go all out and get a resort and get one of those water villas when you go to maldives and you don't get a water villa you're not going to maldives <laughs> honestly you can't post it on instagram because you don't have one of those water villas it's just ridiculous like don't go to maldives if you're not getting a water villa bro i'm telling you you need to get the water villa to actually have a good time other than that guys i think that's pretty much breaks down the whole story about maldives and how much it costs and how much I had to budget in order to, you know, sustain that kind of travel and expenses. If you guys have any questions for the trip in general, if you want to ask me where I stayed and stuff like that, send me a DM or drop a comment. I'd love to connect with you guys to help you guys more in terms of the whole Maldives trip because this is my first time going and I learned a lot, but I can't squeeze it all in this video because this video will turn into like an hour long video. But there's a lot of things that you had to do. Like you had to get vaccinated. You have to have a COVID report. You have to have a resort that you're staying at. There's a bunch of things that you needed to do. You needed to do a visa on arrival you need to have all that stuff so there's a lot of things that you need to do on the back end side of things that you should definitely research on your own if you're actually wanting to go to maldives hopefully this guys helps and thanks so much for watching it's your boy ish and peace